You could say Leanne McGinley has San Francisco Bay for a next-door neighbor. A newly completed section of seawall sits just a few hundred feet away from her front door in Foster City. And the multi-million dollar upgrade means Leanne and her neighbors will not be required to purchase flood insurance, which can run hundreds of dollars or more. I am retired, and of course that's a fixed income. Um, right now I would probably be all right tapping into savings, but no one wants to do that. But balancing the cost of flood protection and flood insurance can be an increasingly expensive challenge for communities around the Bay Area. Climate change is predicted to drive increasing sea level rise and ultra-wet storm cycles known as atmospheric rivers, leaving thousands of families woefully unprepared. An ABC 7 News data team analysis found more than 300,000 homes and businesses around the rim of San Francisco Bay have an 80% chance of flooding over the next 30 years. And still, nearly 90% of homeowners may not have flood insurance. More people are going to need it. More people need it now. We know that. You know, last winter, when California saw those deluges and a lot of people had losses and damage, there was a lot of uh, eye-opening, wow, I didn't realize that I could flood. Amy Bach directs the consumer nonprofit United Policyholders. She says the numbers reflect a growing strain on the state's insurance system from natural disasters, including floods, wildfires, and earthquakes with the current patchwork of public and private coverage struggling to spread the risk. The way things are going, we are going to have to have some kind of a federal disaster insurance program. You know, and just like we created the Affordable Care Act and we said, these are the essential benefits that an insurer must provide and an insurer cannot reject somebody who has a pre-existing condition, I think we're going to have to get there with property. Last month, Governor Gavin Newsom signed an executive order designed to stabilize the state's property insurance market, potentially allowing insurers to factor the future risk from climate change into their rates. While the complicated market continues to shake itself out, Leanne McGinley is grateful for a bit of breathing room from the new seawall, at least where flood insurance is concerned. I was originally for the project and even more so now. I think the future is very important not only for me and, and my family, but for other generations, and this is important for that protection. Spencer Christian reporting there.